You guys, this is going to be the last time you see these counters like this. Okay, this is what the countertop is looking like right now. I cleaned it with Clorox. I'm going to go ahead and clean it with some alcohol as well, just to make sure it's very, very clean. But this is what it looks like up close. It's really not ugly, just not what I'm envisioning. Plus it has little things. I mean, I paint, I filled it with paint, but it has like little things. It has a hole there, it has a couple of holes here. All right, so we have that whole other side that's really dirty right now, so I'm not going to show it to you. But I'm going to start off with both of these two counters because since the sink is on that side and I need it for cooking and cleaning, for cooking and all of that stuff, I'm going to start with these two sides. And then once this side is done and I can concentrate on that side and move everything that I have over there over here then I'll work on that side but here's what we got so far Okay, so we are cleaned and ready to go, and I've realized I haven't actually told you what it is that I'm going to be doing to this countertop. So, I have seen several videos online that you can try to turn your Formica, which is what I have, countertops into a faux or fake concrete countertop. So... Um, I've seen quite a few videos that use the Henry's Feather Finish um, from the Ardex brand to make their countertops look like concrete countertops, look like cement countertops. Um, but the Henry's Feather Finish only comes in a gray, which is like a you know standard concrete look, but I want mine to be white. So, the equivalent to the Henry's Feather Finish, which is by the same brand, is this Ardex Feather Finish in white. So, I am going to use this to make my countertops look like concrete. Disclaimer, I don't think this is meant for this. I don't think this is the purpose for this because nowhere on this does it say that this is the purpose for this. I'm just going to try it out because it was cheap and, um, you know, budget. <laughs> but um, the people that I've done it online have said that it works, so I want to try it out myself. And if it doesn't work, then we can always change it. Our original plan was to try to see if we had enough budget to change the countertops for like a... Um, what is it called? The wood ones? Butcher, like a butcher block countertop, but um, that's a little outside of our budget right now. So I'm just gonna try this. Uh, best case scenario, it works. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work, but I only spent $15 on this. I have all of the other materials because my husband works in construction. So, 
Let's see how it goes. All right, so what is this? It's called Feather Finish um, by Ardex. And what it basically is is like a cement underline, underlinement um, that could be used to like level out any spaces that you want to level out for under vinyl and all that stuff. It is compatible, works well with concrete, wood, um, vinyl, and all of those things. So I know I can put it on this. If it doesn't work, I'll let you know. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is sand my countertop. I've got my um, handy dandy Dewalt um, portable battery sander and I put a 80 grit 80 grit um, pad on here so I'm going pretty coarse so that it sticks pretty well sander is leaving it a little bit more smooth than I want it to be so I'm just gonna take it by hand and scratch that worked much better okay so I have done this whole section so I'm just gonna wipe it and get all of the dust and debris off and hopefully yeah it's still scratched so it still feels like it's we're good Okay, it's pretty scratched up now. Here's the materials that I have. I have a troweling bucket. I have this trowel. I have a wider trowel. And then I have an even wider trowel. So if, I think I'm gonna like using this like at the end so that I can like kind of get everything at the same time and not get any streaks because these are so much shorter but I'm going to use this initially to like put it on Let's start off with this for now, since I don't know how quickly it dries or anything like that. I'm going to add some water slowly and start mixing. I'm trying to go slowly so that I don't have too much water.
think it's nice. I think most of the videos I've watched have all said to make it a little bit runny, but I don't know how I feel about that. So. Just a tiny, tiny bit more. goes nothing. Probably should have covered here so that I don't get it dirty, but I'm just going to try to be as careful as I can be. So this is what I've got so far. So I knew going into this that it was not going to be, that the, it wasn't going to look even, which is fine for me. I like that look. Um, but this is after the first day. I let it dry overnight. Feeling wise, I sanded this and it feels even. I don't know if you can tell but it feels even it just doesn't look even which obviously it's not going to have these lines or anything like that it's going to be totally white but looks good since I am going for the concrete look I had already anticipated for it to look kind of like this like poured concrete now, I did not sand this side, so this side looks a lot uh, more textured, but I did sand this side. Like here you can tell, see? You can see that it looks a lot better. So once I'm done with all of my coats, I am going to sand it real well and make sure that it feels smooth, but I don't care that it doesn't look smooth but this is where I'm at now ready for epoxy or resin on here it's probably been like I don't know two weeks since I've done the concrete part I thought I had a lot of plastic apparently I don't so I had a boxing paper like wrapping not wrapping uh, shipping paper Hopefully that'll do the trick. I'm not planning for a bunch to spill over the ledge. 
So hopefully that's good enough. And um, we'll get started. Okay, so we're ready. I've read the instructions for this resin. Um, so we should be good there. And it says that it causes irritation to eyes and stuff. I don't have any goggles, so I'm just going to keep my glasses on. I'm going to tie this over my nose. And I have gloves on. going to mix it in this bucket with the plastic knife. And then I have a trowel with spikes on it, hopefully to um, move the glaze around. I'm just going to use the whole thing because I feel like it's going to take up the whole thing. And I should mix it for about three minutes. So I'm just going to pour it.
bubbles. So I need to get rid of those. I've seen several videos on epoxy and the best way to get rid of the bubbles is to torch it with a torch. So I have one, I'm just gonna use that. Check back in later. So this is what my countertops are looking like right now. They're not completely done, but I figured if I keep waiting to show this to you, I'm going to wait a long time because I only got half of it done. Um, we still haven't figured out what, when we're going to do the side where the sink is just because I use it every day. And so, um, this is the side that I have. I love how it turned out because I like the rusticness of it. I like that it looks like it's not perfect. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. It looks like, you know, cement. It has different shades. It has different things, bubbles and stuff but it is um, resin covered so I've been able to clean it with Clorox or regular cleaners or whatever and it's held up pretty nicely. So that's what it's looking like. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please stay tuned for the others. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, follow me on here. Subscribe, comment, like, all of the things. And God bless you. Bye.